Now let's talk about the AC circuit with a capacitor. An alternating source of EMF is connected across a capacitor of capacitance C. It is charged first in one direction and then in another direction. I am trying to show you the real capacitor. The instantaneous value of the applied EMF is given by E is equal to E naught under sine omega t. At any instant, the potential difference between the capacitor will be equal to root mean square. E is equal to Q by C. This is your capacitance, capacitor. Where Q is the charge, E is the applied EMF and C is the capacitance. So, as indicated, E is equal to Q by C. So, I is equal to dQ by dt. The change in charge per time. So, d by dt of replacing your Q by E into C. You will be getting C into E naught into sine omega t. With the change in frequencies. So, obviously, you will be getting d by dt of sine omega t is cos omega t. Since we got the phase differences, you will be getting sin cos omega t can be replaced by sin omega t plus pi by 2. Due to the phase difference. So, omega c can be placed as 1 by omega c which is nothing but you will be getting E naught by 1 by omega c into sin omega t plus half pi by 2. So, as indicated, E naught by 1 by omega c can be replaced by I naught here. We got the final equation as I is equal to I naught into sin omega t plus pi by 2. Where the 1 by omega c is equal to xc which is the resistance offered by the capacitor. This is referred to as capacitive reactance and its volume is ohm. So, as indicated, we got two equations uh, E is equal to E naught into sin omega t. E is equal to E naught into sin omega t and I is equal to E naught divided by 1 by omega c into sin omega t plus pi by 2. From these two equations, we are able to get the current. The current leads the voltage by pi by 2, phase angle by pi by 2. You are able to see the current is leading the voltage by pi by 2. In other words, the root mean square lags behind the current by a phase angle of pi by 2. So, we got as I told Xc the capacitive inductance is equal to 1 by omega c is equal to 2 pi nu into c. Where nu is the frequency of the AC circuit. In a DC circuit nu is equal to 0 which indicates Xc became infinity. Thus, a capacitor offers infinity resistance to DC. Thus, for an alternative current, the capacitor reactance varies inversely as the frequency of AC and also inversely as the capacitance of the capacitor.